Tonight we have the SOG power plier. This is a great multi-tool and I'm going to be explaining why you need to add one of these to your collection. Of course, everyone needs just one more multi-tool to add to their collection. So we will find this is the first time that SOG will add the compound leverage to a multi-tool. And also we find this will have a little bit different tip and a different design right here for gripping bolts as well. So there's more of a blunt tip. So let's com compare this to the power lock. And you'll notice that also these look a little different. So some people say that the, comp the uh, power plier actually works better with bolts than the, the uh, power lock that is still made today. I'll leave that up to you and I haven't actually done a whole bunch of testing on it, but I could see how that could be the case. Now, when we open this up, we do see definitely this will be reminiscent of some of the tools of the period, but even the power lock to this day, at least on mine, still has some of that design. So some of that design has carried over, but on some of the more modern tools like the Power Access Assist, which is one of my favorites from SOG, you don't have that, but you still have the wonderful compound leverage. So I love SOG's compound leverage. I hope they never get rid of that because that's just a very neat option. All right, let's jump and look at some of the inside tools. And this is where we will start to differentiate between uh, other multi-tools of the period and even today. Now, one of the negatives that people have mentioned that SOG has is they do seem to have shorter inside tools. So for instance, this saw is a little bit shorter than we're going than we will see on some other multi-tools. And then this file is a little bit short as well. This is going to be a three-sided file. And this one, unfortunately, is a little bit dirty. This multi-tool is no longer made, but you can still find this on eBay fairly often. And then we have a long screwdriver, medium screwdriver, it looks like. And then we have the, the uh, wide, the large screwdriver. And then we actually have a Robertson screwdriver. So this is definitely going to be different. A lot of times people do not make the effort to add a Robertson screwdriver to a multi-tool. That is used in RVs and also Canada. And I've heard electricians use it as well. And I suppose it may be getting a little bit more popular for other things, perhaps. And then we'll have a small, uh, a small blade, an extra blade here as well. And let's jump to the other side. And on the other side, you'll notice they do have an awl. So it's not a replacement for that. But this, on this side, it's actually an extra small knife blade, which I think is pretty neat. So on this side, we have the combo blade right here. We have the chisel, and that's another thing that sets this multi-tool apart. Even though Gerber has started adding chisels to their multi-tools a little bit more, that is definitely not something you see every day. And it's nice that SOG added this years ago, actually, to their multi-tools. Then we have the Phillips screwdriver. We have the micro screwdriver, the awl, and then the can opener as well. So let's go ahead and fan these tools out here. And we have a pretty complete tool set right here. Just really nice, all the tools that are added. Now, none of these are locking, but with these older tools, uh, I give them a pass. And even some of the new tools, uh, in certain countries, that's definitely going to be a bonus that you don't have locking tools. Let's go ahead and extend the file, for instance. Let's go ahead and close this up. And so yeah, it can fold over, but that's just something you have to be aware of. And to be honest, I have not had very good success with SOG's power lock. I know different people really love it, but some of the locks have given way on me. I've never had that issue with SOG's other tools, but especially the power lock, I've had some bad experiences with that. So. Uh, I actually might prefer some of these tools that just fold up because at least I know to prepare for it instead of having a failed lock. Now, the power plier does not have a pocket clip, but it's not going to be extremely heavy tool. So I, 
It definitely is going to be lighter, I feel like, than the Power Lock. And so what I've actually done is I've actually, I've got a little crazy on these bicycle inner tube pocket sheaths. But anyway, and so I've just made myself a little sheath right here, my own pocket clip carry option, I guess. And that has actually worked pretty good for me. So let's compare these. SOG has the Paratool, which I actually have been enjoying carrying this more recently. I've sort of really enjoyed this tool. I had some strong feelings against it, but I actually like it a lot more than I, I thought I would after I adjusted the pivots. So not only did SOG have the Paratool, which was more of a modern design after some of their first multi-tools, but they also had the pocket power plier. And this is a great multi-tool. I've added a pair of scissors to mine, so it doesn't always close like it should all the time. But this is a great option. I've added a pocket clip to mine as well. But if you want more of a heavy-duty option, then the power plier is definitely something great to have on hand. It sort of, it sort of strikes a great balance between lightweight and a lot of a lot of options, especially these pliers. I mean, they look pretty tough. So I think this is a great option, whether you want to use it or just add it to your collection. I definitely would recommend this tool and really happy to have this on hand. I'll see you in the next video.